With technological advancements, especially in the smartphone sector, we are beginning to see ideas in action that, a few years back, we couldn't even imagine. One such technology is under-display cameras, which work exactly how they sound like. But, unfortunately, the tech could have actually used some more time in the oven. But what makes us say that? And why are people so furious about under-display cameras nowadays? Find out on our video today as we talk about the problems, the current state, and the possible future of under-display cameras. What exactly are under-display cameras? As the name suggests, it's a rare feature that's available in a few selected modern smartphones. What this feature does is help the front camera of the phone produce and capture images even after being located behind the display. The ZTE Axon 25G was the first ever smartphone that implemented the technology and had come out in 2020. But the feature had somewhat of a mixed review where some people were praising it while others were downright disappointed. ZTE 30 was released shortly afterward, which made some necessary improvements that had a severe impact on the future of this tech. Other popular brands like Xiaomi and Samsung soon followed in their footsteps and came up with their own rendition of under-display cameras like Xiaomi Mix 4 and Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, which, albeit sounds promising, didn't actually make much of a difference if you ask us. What Samsung and Xiaomi did, however, was introduce and give access to this technology to the masses. When you consider how cameras go about producing and capturing an image, considering the fact that they are located behind the screen and are almost invisible to the naked eye, you see the futuristic potential this feature has. But for real though, how does it work? Well, let's take the Z Fold 3 for example. The main idea here is to make the display on top of the camera transparent. These devices that come with the under-display camera feature included essentially have a display in a display, where the primary screen is generally made up of LED or OLED technology. The small cutout uses a separate kind of glass that initially allows the hidden camera underneath to capture light and therefore produce pictures. Although the technology right now is a matter of heavy controversy, there are some advantages to it, or at least the idea of it. The first, foremost, and the most immediate advantage of having an under-display camera is the screen real estate, which, by not having notches, actually enhances your immersion. The lack of a physical notch actually unlocks the full potential of your screen and allows you to immerse yourself in movies, games, or whatever kind of content you're consuming without having to obstruct your view. Another advantage that had everyone on their toes is the weight, as the lack of a dedicated pop-up selfie camera removes the additional weight a smartphone had to possess, which, to be honest, also had its fair share of technical issues back then. Other than that, an under-display camera enhances the phone's overall beauty, as looking at the screen, you wouldn't have to stare at a dark circle that seems very out of place. Now, the question you're here for is why people everywhere are downright furious with the under-display camera technology. Well, to start off, yes, you need to understand that this is technically the future of technologies, but we haven't yet gone that far. Being a first-gen tech, the tech we've seen and used so far only conjures up a single expression, and that is wobbly. Hiding the camera under a screen generates two intricate challenges. The first one is how to hide the camera without compromising the display quality, while the other one focuses on the overall camera quality. Unfortunately, neither of these challenges could be solved with any of the cameras that we've seen so far. It's actually far from what the manufacturers call invisible. Instead of being invisible, the result we get is worse. Far, far worse. As you can see right here, this tech, as much as it likes to claim itself invisible, is actually a pixelated square. 
Now imagine a phone with a notch and another that has a pixelated, out of place, weird looking square shape on the top. Now compare these two side by side and ask yourself, which one would you, yourself, actually prefer? And another thing is the overall camera quality itself. Yes, as far-fetched and promising as the tech sounds, it actually has a severe impact on your camera quality. The implementation of this tech makes the pictures come out relatively soft that has a very poor level of exposure while combining a general and heavily noticeable lack of detail. Judging from the selfies we've seen from stock footage of ZTE Axon 20 5G, it's no wonder people prefer to have a notch with a better camera than a pseudo-futuristic screen with a noticeable downward dip in camera quality. New and innovative technologies more than often come with their own case of customized and unfortunately placed caveats, and such is the case with under-display cameras. Though they didn't make a solid first impression, you, or any of us in fact, cannot deny how there's untapped potential in this concept. Can you imagine a world where you don't need to rely on a separate compartment for a camera that will maintain a good picture quality and a good screen real estate? At the same time, this combination of unfiltered and unbound screen real estate, immersion and picture quality is what we are promised from the direction technology is heading right now. But unfortunately, we are not there yet. But this doesn't mean we should stop hoping though. As the good news is, the plans regarding this tech are already set in motion. All we need is just a few more trials and errors. After all, what are humans if not a bit hopeful, right? Under display cameras hint at just a small fraction of what the future has to offer. Although it could use some time to perfect the idea, the end result could radically change the direction smartphones are heading right now. But as always, we would like to hear your opinion regarding the situation. Do you like the idea of under display cameras? Have you been using it? Which model of the phone are you using and are you satisfied or dissatisfied with the results?